How's it going, you guys? It's Scott with the Everyday Home Repairs Help Channel, and I want to help you size out your solar panel system according to your current needs, but also future needs. This is something I'm going through right now because I have current needs associated to about 33 panels. And the way I size that system out is I went over to solarviews.com and you'll find a link in the description exactly where I went. I started to provide the information on my home and then they gave me a cost estimate. And also they gave me the option to provide my contact information and have installers contact me. So instead of me reaching out to 10 different companies in my area and nobody calling me back, they actually have installers reach out to you to come by your house and give you estimates if that's something you want. I had an installer stop by the house and he was able to size out the system within one week and give me a good idea of what we're looking at. So the current size of my system is 33 panels with an overall size of 11.3 kilowatts that would have annual production of 13,800 kilowatt hours. And then they give you some estimates on 25 year savings, but then also an estimate on the overall system, but then also a range of your overall system cost that is after the 30% tax credit. So just keep that in mind. But one of the major things I need to take into account is I have this big boy showing up here in about 12 to 18 months. So I ordered a cyber truck about three years ago and this is gonna be my work truck and my daily driver. So I need to compensate how much energy to charge this thing on a daily basis in addition, we will most likely switch out our other family car for a Model Y. So if I only size it to current needs, I would be way off. So this is something we need to take into account, but I've been putting together a spreadsheet. So what I did is I put together this little spreadsheet and it basically allows you to select your car. So I have a Model Y selected and a Tesla Cybertruck selected. You could select another car if you wanted another Nissan Leaf or something in your fleet. This is something that you can actually adjust to your own needs and you can kind of play around with it. I'll give you a link here at the end so you can download it and, and you can play around with it on your side and get sizing for you. Now, what I did is I have a list of EVs. I also listed out my source. This is just an estimate. This is not exact science. You can change these numbers, but basically what these are is how many kilowatt hours, right? How many kilowatt hours are we going to consume for every mile driven for these different models of cars so so that pulls it over so you select your car it pulls over that power consumption per mile and then you put in how many miles per day you're going to drive for the model y we'd be planning to drive about 40 miles and the cybertruck about 65 miles per day so that gives us a daily consumption of kilowatt hours of 11 for the model y and 26 for the cybertruck then we kind of get into the panels so you can change these two, but what I'm planning on is if my panels are 385 watt panels, so once you start progressing with your design of your system, you can see if you have 400 watt panels or 350 or 420 or whatever the wattage is of your panels, I'm putting in a system efficiency of 80%. Now this would be all your different losses. Do you have shade on your panels for some of the day? Are they not angled correctly? Are, not, are they not due south on your roof? What about your inverter? How, how efficient is that inverter? There's a little bit of loss at the Tesla charger and so on and so on. So your overall system is gonna have efficiency. I'm just putting 80% there, but again, that's something that you can change. And then sun hours. Now, depending on where you're at in the country, it could be as good as six hours if you're all the way out in Arizona or Southern California in my area. When I look at this map, if I scroll down, I'm kind of right in the middle of this 4.2 to 4.5. So that's why I'm using 4.3 for my home and how many sun hours I'm gonna have. Those sun hours are multiplied by your solar panel 385, 385 watts or 0.38 kilowatts. And then that's kind of be daily what's that producing. So I get the number of panels. So this would be the number of panels that I need to add for each of these cars. What I do is I just take those kilowatt hours daily and then I divide by the panel size of 0.385 kilowatts times the efficiency times the sun hours 4.3. And that's gonna give me eight panels. Now this is rounded and it is rounded down. So if that's 8.49, it will round down to eight. So just something to take into consideration. And then the size of the system, I'm actually gonna, let's go ahead and change that to get a few decimal places in there. So a 3.1 or 3.2 kilowatt 
that's the size of the system to just charge the Model Y. And then for the Cybertruck, I need about 7.5 kilowatts just for the Cybertruck. So bring those together and we're looking at about 11 kilowatts. Now the question is, do you remember with the size of my system. My original system was only 11 kilowatts. So you now see the massive difference that this can create. If I just went by my consumption needs, I got those two electric cars. Now I'd have an 11 kilowatt system, but that would just be meeting my house needs. And I would need double that to also charge my cars to completely offset my electrical consumption from the grid. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is I am in Illinois where we do have net metering. So I can provide that surplus of power during the day times and get credits from my utility. And then at night when I'm not producing any solar panels and I do not have battery storage at my house, well, I can use those credits to actually charge my truck. So just something to keep in mind because not all states and not all utilities provide that, or sometimes they only provide a conversion. So every one unit you put in, maybe you're only getting 0.7 back out. So something to keep in mind. So hopefully that helped you guys out. And remember, link in the description for solarviews.com. You can start sizing out your system and also get installers reaching out to you if you're ready in that phase of your project. And then two, I'll put a link so you can download that spreadsheet and start sizing it out for your own needs at home for your electric cars and what you're gonna have from a charging perspective. Now, if you're considering, should I do a DIY versus professional install, check out this video right here and it'll give you some of the pros and cons of each of those paths. So thanks for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.